Hey guys, I wanted to show you my sweet new drill press fence. This is actually a brand new product for MIG switch. Uh, it's just now available for pre-sale and I've got one of the early ones. So I just wanted to show you some of the bits and pieces of it. Uh, you can see I've got a relatively small drill press table for such a massive uh, drill press, but this is the large fence and it's got so many different mounting holes that actually makes it really easy. You can adjust where the magnets go on it. So I'm going to put this on backwards just so you can see it. Easy to adjust, easy to move around, and then you just flip the switches and now you are locked in and you can get really easy repeatable holes. So why does anybody need this drill press fence? Uh, Despite the fact that it looks awesome and it's so easy to move around, get lined up, and then lock in place, it also has, because its front plate is made of steel, it's got this deep recess and it's still nice and strong. So now, anytime you need to get in really, really close, trying to get a hole right near an edge, your chuck ends up smashing into the side of your fence and it makes it really tough. Well here, you can get right up next to it in this V cutout has clearance for that chuck so now you can get a lot more uh, universal use out of your drill press fence. The other thing that it comes with which is really cool is a stop block because the whole face is steel. You can just put your magnet on the front and have a stop block. So let's just say I need a hole in this position but I want it in the same position on all four corners. Rather than having to mark that out all the way around I can just take this line up my bit right on that spot and then bring up the fence. Lock the fence in place and now I can get back to this plane very very easily. So because I don't want to drill into my table let's just put a waste board up there line it back up. Here's my spot. Then I can take the stop block slide it up against it and lock it in. So now I can get to that position every single time. So I flip it on, drill out my hole, which by the way is too close to the back of the fence that I would be running into this without the deep V there. Now I can flip that over, drill again. I don't have any marks, I just know that it's in the exact same relationship to the very corner. There we go. Four holes in four corners at the exact same distance from each side, each edge. Uh, very fast and I didn't have to mess with tracks and clamps and anything. The magnets are just so nice to be able to work with and now I'm back to just that clean top just like that. So I mentioned that this is kind of a small tabletop for a big drill press and I used to have a much bigger fake tabletop built into it, but I found that this was overkill. I rarely use this much width and I found that I was just stacking tools on here when I was working on other projects. So it was just another junk collector that I didn't need. So I'm kind of excited to go back to a very small basic drill press table. But there are occasions where you might be doing something that's kind of long and you might need a little bit more support. So I think I'm going to add something to this on the occasion that I need that. So Let's run over to the bench and start putting some stuff together. So I put one of these on the left side and the right side so that I can kind of handle it either inboard or outboard, whatever I need to do. Um, you know, this isn't very wide and you might think that it can't be that strong, but the point is it's not holding the entirety of the weight of whatever you're putting on there. If you're using something small and light, it's just helping you balance it. But for a demonstration, here is a full eight foot two by four that's still kind of like wet. Let's just say 
I don't know, a third of the way across it. If I want to keep this flat and drill a hole right here, I have to work pretty hard to get it there. I can go even further, and now it's almost like I can't operate this with just two hands. Well, if I slide it back and put it on top of my little support there, it's holding, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna hold it by itself necessarily, but it's holding most of the weight. It extended that sort of balance point way out to the side so that I can get almost to the very end of this thing and still hold it flat on that table and get a hole drilled where I need to. So I think these little wings are going to work out really well to kind of extend my balance point, extend my ability to do longer stuff. The board on the back, this is cedar, so it's really, really light and it's attached to a piece of ash. So I'm able to put these little wings on and off quite a bit because cedar is very hard. It's gonna take a lot before I strip those holes out. So I can put them on, take them off, whatever I need to do if the situation calls for it. All right, so what's the point of this video? There's barely even a project in it, if you can call it that. I just drilled four holes and I didn't even use a fancy tool to do it. Well, the point is, it's the season of finding really good deals and that's what we have here. This is on pre-sale only until December 23rd. Normally this would cost $214.99, but for the pre-sale it's $199.99. But not only that, if you use my coupon code, which is Gunflint Designs, all one word, instead of the regular 10% off you can get with all Mag Switch products, it's 15% off. So that brings the price of this all the way down to $169.99. Now that is for the Drill Press Fence Pro, which is the large version, and then there is a Drill Press Fence, which is a smaller version that all those prices are a little bit less. Um, depending on the size of drill press you have, you might want to look at that one. So, pre-sale only until December 23rd. You can get a ridiculous amount off on this until then. They'll be shipping in April of 2021, and if you spend $150 or more, you get a free keychain and just a bunch of good stuff. I have loved everything I've used from MagSwitch up to this point, and this is no exception. So. Use all the links down in the description. Go check it out. Check out everything on their website. And uh, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.